Hey guys, I'm Victoria and some of you may or may not know this but I took SPM two years ago and I managed to get straight A plus in my SPM and over a year ago I started my YouTube channel in order to share my study tips with you guys. So if you guys have been watching me for a while now you would know that the first video that I posted on my channel was this one which is how I got straight A plus in my SPM and today's video is going to be sort of an updated version of that video because I would like to think that after a year of making videos, my editing skills have somehow got better and also I've got better content for you guys and today we are going to be talking about the SMART technique S-M-A-R-T in order to get straight A plus in SPM So first of all, the S in SMART stands for study SMART You have to study SMART in order to achieve straight A plus in SPM The reason being the fact that you take so many subjects I took 9 subjects some of you take even more, some of you take 11 subjects and if you're not being smart with the way you study, there is no way that you can make sure every single subject comes up to A+. So study smart is very important and there are many ways to do that. For example, by using mnemonics or by using acronyms and also the way that you revise. Flashcard is a good way for space repetition and there are a lot more to studying smart and I actually have a playlist called general study tips on my channel so if you want you can check out those videos where I went over a lot of ways to study smart and not study hard the M in SMART stands for motivation and it is so important to be motivated all the time when you are studying. Not all the time but just when you are revising, it is very important to stay motivated. And despite popular belief, I am not motivated all the time. That's just not who I am. Sometimes I do feel lazy. I have lazy days as well. But it's okay to have days when you are lazy. It's a cycle. Sometimes you feel better, sometimes you don't. But, but the way that you deal with it matters and the way that you get yourself back onto your productive mode matters as well. So think of your goals and think of what you want to achieve. Maybe watch videos of people who you look up to. You can't not lose motivation but make sure that every time you feel not motivated, you have a way to make yourself motivated. If, but here's the tip though. Whenever I feel that I'm not motivated, the main reason always comes from social media. I feel like if I spend too much time on YouTube or on Instagram, I just feel not motivated to study. So what I do is I would put my phone away, put it on airplane mode or whatever out of my sight and I'll just try to start on a small task or maybe just read something that's not even school related. It could be a novel or something. Just read something, get your mind off social media and Mostly that is how I get motivated. The A in SMART stands for always. So always means to be consistent with whatever revision that you are doing. So to achieve straight A plus in SPM, you can't study when you want to or study when you feel like it. No, you have to be consistent with your studies. You have to study always, not sometimes, not never. Always. Be consistent with your revision. Do a little bit every day and you'll be surprised with how much it amounts to. And consistency is especially important for subjects like additional mathematics, modern mathematics, physics, and also um, Bahasa Malaysia and English. For these five subjects, consistency is very, very important. For example, for additional mathematics, if you're not consistent with your, the exercises that you're doing, then when it comes to exam time, you'll be panicking and there's just too much to understand and to know. But if you learn every single day in class when the teacher is teaching, you will find out that you don't need to spend that much time for maths. For example, in my revision schedule, I only revise for four subjects, which is the three science subjects, physics, biology, chemistry, and also sejarah. This Four subjects are the ones that I focus on and maths is not even in the schedule because it is what I do every day consistently. The R in SMART stands for reliable. Your study techniques have to be reliable and your tuition teacher, if you are attending tuition, which I guess most of us are, has to be reliable as well. Your teacher in school has to be reliable but that is something that you can't control. But anyways, your study techniques first of all have to be reliable. Some of you guys have been telling me that you're falling asleep when you're studying and that just means that your study technique is not reliable. The information is not actually entering your brain and after you study, you'll find out that none of it actually stuck to your brain. So you have to find the study techniques which are reliable and needs active revision. 
very unfortunately highlighting is not active revision rewriting notes is not active revision as well active revision involves actively retrieving information from your brain when you are almost forgetting it. So an example of active revision would be flashcard. Another more common example is to do activity books and to do past years as well because they are so important they tell you how the questions will be asked but apart from that it is also active revision because when you are doing those exercises you are not supposed to refer to your reference books or your activity books you're just supposed to get those information from your memory so this is where active recall comes in and mostly the way that i did it was i would read one chapter of sejara from the beginning to the end and then i'll get started on my activity books immediately this way i can test if those information really stuck into my brain or not and when I get a question wrong, I'll just place a sticky note next to it and write in red pen why I got it wrong and what is the correct answer. So that is one of the ways to be doing active revision. The T in SMART stands for time. So everyone has 24 hours in a day and you sleep for 8 hours a day. By the way, you should not sacrifice sleep just to get straight A plus in SPM. That is not the way to do it. I myself slept 8 hours every day leading up to SPM and during SPM as well. So that's 8 hours of sleep and then you have 16 hours left to do whatever that you want to do and you have to be really frugal with your time and a lot of you guys actually um, messaged me saying that I do not have enough time when I get home from school it's already 3 um, I have tuition and all that stuff I have extracurricular activities so my response when it comes to this is are those tuition really helping because if the tuition is really helping you then it shouldn't feel like a waste of time that tuition should be part of your revision already especially for biology i feel like if you have someone explaining it to you you can just try to remember those stuff on the spot and then this saves you a lot of time from your own revision so tuition shouldn't be considered as time consuming if that tuition is really effective so you have to really evaluate whether that tuition is working for you whether you can understand that tuition teacher or not some of you guys take part in extracurricular activities which I think you should continue with. It's that's your passion. If that's what you love, then you should continue doing it. Always be present and always be productive wherever you are. When you are doing your extracurricular activities, you should be all there. And then when it's time for revision, you should be all there as well. So for example, there are two students and student A doesn't attend any extracurricular activities but he is studying with the wrong techniques and nothing goes into his brain anyway and there's student B who attends extracurricular activities but his brain is more active because of it and he learns the correct study techniques and he only revises around 2-3 to three hours a day but it is active revision then active revision really comes in and just overpowers the other student which doesn't have the correct study techniques the time does not determine your result. The amount of time that you spend studying does not equal to the results that you will be receiving. What you do with that time really matters. So that was the SMART technique that I have mentioned. S stands for SMART, M for motivation, A for always, R for reliable, and T for time. Those things are very important in order for you to excel in your studies. But before all those, you have to want to succeed first. The inner fire has to be there. You have to want to succeed and to achieve amazing results and to make your parents proud. So I hope that the inner fire is there for you. If it's not there, then try to find it. Alright, so that's the end of today's video and if you are new to my channel or if this is the first video that you have watched of me then hey, I'm Victoria and I post videos quite regularly on my channel, mostly study videos and I'll be vlogging in the future hopefully because I'm also a first year medical student. If you learned something from today's video then be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so you will not miss a single video that I post up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.